Welcome to the first board shop surfboard review of 2017 and what a beauty made for the board shop customer. Uh, this is the Matt Bylos Lost Puddle Fish, uh, part of the Puddle Jumper family but with a few twists and turns uh, to make sure that the board is effective and works. So uh, we'll have a look at the differences between this and the Puddle Jumper first to explain how it works, who it's going to work for and what kind of waves you're going to surf it in, have a look at fins and all the rest of it. So, features first of all. Um, the wide point is moved slightly further forward on the puddle fish. The rails are straightened out a bit. It's obviously got this inverted swallowtail you can see here. And most excitingly of all, channels are back. Oh, there goes the water. Um, <coughs> you can see the channels there highlighted by the colours. So, what all these features are about is giving you a board that will carry a bit more speed uh, than the standard puddle jumper, uh, more like a, a kind of general fish, but give you more control than you get with a general fish where they tend to be a bit drifty with fatter rails and all the rest of it. <coughs> so the wide point, um, wide point moving forward gives you a bit more paddle power and carries speed through the flat sections of the wave. The straightened up um, kind of rail profile gives you a bit more drive and a bit more speed. And the channels specifically um, are there for two reasons really. To give you more direction, more drive, but also channels um, in wide-tailed balls help you push into your turns. They break up the flow of the water and make it a little bit easier to push the board into turns. Any big flat wide-tailed board with a bit of volume in it, obviously more work to do, more work to push into your turns, so the channels are there to help with that. Um, you can look up all the exact spiel about the spiral V's and all the rest of it and the afterburner um, channel that runs through the central concave of the board to give even more speed. Um, they're, very, they're quite complicated details, so I won't go fully into it right now. But basically, what you've got is a board that is fast, um, fish-like in its performance that, that way, but more precise and more controllable. Um, <coughs> the reason we like it is because it's going to go better, we think, than the puddle jumper in real flat-faced waves. The Puddle Jumper is an awesome board, one of the top selling boards of all time that we've ever done, and it really, really works in a wide range of waves. We figure that the Puddle Fish sits in a slightly different category to the Puddle Jumper, in that um, those flatter-faced waves without much of a shoulder or pocket is where it's gonna give you really good uh, value for money and really good fun. Bylos developed this board after a really poor season in California where all the little points and what have you weren't very big and they were pretty slack and pretty rubbish and so you wanted a board that didn't really need that pocket kind of performance but would just be wide and swooshy on those big flatter face kind of waves uh, and certainly I think with the Puddlefish it looks wicked and uh, first reports are from the couple we've sold is that it absolutely works. Um, range of size of waves you're going to use it in, it'll go in anything from knee to head sort of height, basically it's dicta dictated by the punch in the wave and the ability of the surfer. But certainly for most average surfers, it'll cover that whole bottom range of rubbish waves that we sadly experience quite a lot. <coughs> um, Fin-wise, there are millions of options. Um, depending on whether you go for FCS or Futures, for the average guy, something like the Neoglass FCS Performer Fin is absolutely fine. Um, you're going to surf it as a thrust or a quad. Quad maybe is preferable in the poorer conditions you might surf it in. But this kind of neoglass construction is great value for money and good fin. Um, if you want to step it up a bit, Biolos does the tailor-made um, signature fin in a five fin setup to give you both thrust and quad option. A bit more stiffness, a bit more hold, a bit more drive and a higher price tag. Um, if you're feeling very fruity, he does the split keel um, fin. A uh, <coughs> bit more raked back, a bit more laid back, a bit more um, twin finny in its performance. And in a future setup, if you're going to ride it as a twinny with maybe a small trailer, the T1 or the other constructions, the K1, would be uh, a good option. The good thing about these boards and the fin setup is that basically you're getting a lot of different kind of versions of the board depending on how you set the fins up. Um, finally, 0% interest, we take trade-ins, you can custom order this model with or without the afterburner channel. Um, our 30-day ride-out guarantee 
is legendary. Um, nobody understands how it works really amongst other shops, but it is good. Uh, and hopefully we know what we're talking about so you won't need to use it. But there it is, uh, the Lost Puddle Fish, brand new for 2017. Perfect for average guys surfing average ways a lot of the time. Uh, put a lot more fun back into your surfing than you would have um, surfing anything else pretty much. There it is.